how's it going? This is uh, tattoo art drawing, uh, skull art drawing. Today I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go over how to draw a tattoo design, and I'm gonna go over it in two layers. I'm gonna go over it in uh, one sheet of paper, the structure, and then I'm gonna go over the detail in the next layer. It's gonna be for beginners. So if you want to learn, you know, tattoo drawing, uh, you know, if you like tattoo design, any of that stuff, stay here, and stay till the end of the video. It's gonna be pretty, relatively quick. So let's get into it. Let me draw your attention. Uh, I'm gonna be using this, a Faber-Castell P-I-T-T artist pen. It's a really thin one. It's more like a thin pen, kind of th thin pen brush. Uh, you can get stuff just like it. Uh, if not, I can put the link somewhere in the description. But for now, let's get going. I'm gonna start with the structure, and this is gonna be cards with uh, kind of parchment around it. So let's go. I'm gonna start with the structure. So I'm thinking of playing cards. And like, this is purely a layer that I'm gonna go over with. So I'm thinking of like playing card shapes, which is essentially just rectangles. Parchment, which is gonna wrap around with kind of a scroll. And that's also essentially a rectangle. It's very easy and rectangular. It's gonna come out the back. On this side of the back, on that side, it's gonna end I want it to make it even, uh, uneven as well. I don't want I want two on this side and three on that side. Maybe it'll connect is here. So the reason we do this layer is because we want to find the positioning of everything, uh, and then afterward kind of go into it uh, with uh, maybe. But well, you go over the detail as well. So you have to think about it in two different parts. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I personally like doing it. I think it adds some organization to it. And maybe the parchment's gonna go down and kind of uh, wither away. So I'm gonna take this, right, and I'm gonna go and put this underneath my other piece of paper. And this is standard uh, eight and a half by 11 printing paper. This is regular printing paper you can get everywhere. You can get a giant ream of it uh, at Office Depot, at different stores, uh, relatively cheap. I mean, I think I believe I got a stack of this, like a huge stack of it. Can't remember how many sheets for about 20, below $20, but it's a huge stack, which lasts me like half the year. And I draw a lot. So, I mean, this will last you a long time. So I put one uh, put it under one sheet and now I can actually see through my piece of paper. So while doing this, I'm gonna go in and I am going to start the details of it. So now that I already have my framework built, I don't have to think about my framework and my detail at the same time because one will suffer. Either your detail will go good and your framework might get weird, uh, you know, out of place, out of scale, or uh, the other way around. So this solves that problem. You're thinking in pieces. Okay, so let's get going. I'm gonna go into the card and the first thing I do in the card is I'm gonna throw an uh, A.
you're kind of showing that it's wrapping around through small uh, form. You're indicating the turning of form. But usually it's like a straight line or dot or a straight line, then it and it kind of fades out into a dot dot dot. <laughs> Two designs I am going to do more like this if you did like the way I taught this do me a favor and click that like button actually comment tell me that you like the way I taught this compared to the other videos and I'm gonna start doing it every time um, but yeah I'm just here to give value to you guys uh, thank you so much I appreciate it um, that's the end of the lesson. Also, if you did like this, do, do yourself a favor and go to my Patreon. I do have a lot of cool extras on there for you. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna link that in the description that has uh, terms of like perks to that. For $1, you can see, if you do like my art, uh, for $1, you can see all the art that I never post anywhere. I decided to put up all the commissions that I work on on my Patreon, and it's only a dollar to view it, but there's a ton of it that I never post anywhere, ever. So that's really cool. And then for $2, you get one of the most important things ever, which would be how to draw a skull. And I kind of go over on this channel as well, but I have an ebook that's $2. Like I said, if you donate $2, you get that ebook for free. Um, because the skull is one of the most important things in all of drawing, if you want to draw people. Um, I mean, it's not just for the cool tattoo arts. Obviously, it's amazing to learn it for that, like concept art, all this. But it's also one of the bases of portraiture. When you draw a face, you, when you, you know, if you look at someone's chin, someone's the bump on the top of their nose, uh, the brow line, you know, their eyes, the the kind of brow, all of that is the skull. And you can tell when someone doesn't know how to draw the skull, and they go into portraits. You can tell. Um, but knowing that gives you such an advantage and it's such a huge thing. And literally every amazing portrait artist knows how to draw the skull, like inside out. So I go over that in a small ebook. Like I said, it's about seven or eight pages and it goes over the most common mistakes that people make. And that's a $2 donation. You get that immediately. That's in the Patreon. And obviously there's more, but that's it. Uh, I mean, that, that's all I'm gonna talk about right now, but check that out if you're into that stuff. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much and uh, you know, stay artsy.